Welcome back everyone here. I'm gonna share some really funny Miami Cuban jokes and you can comment below. Why did the Cuban coffee go to therapy? Because it had too many cortaditos. What's a Cuban's favorite type of music? Cubano. Why did the Cuban chef get promoted? Because he had a lot of sabor. What do you call a Cuban on a sailboat? The captain. What do you call a Cuban who speaks three languages? Marla. No, I'm kidding. Trilingual. What do you call a Cuban who speaks four languages? Quadrilingual. And what do you call a Cuban who, who speaks five languages? Jose! Remember, <laughs> these are all funny. Um... But here's the ultimate joke, ladies and gentlemen. So let's, so let me tell you a little something about my ancestors, those daring Cubans who came to the United States before Obama decided to change the rules. We were like the pioneers of the Atlantic Ocean. And let's be honest, it's not just because we wanted to become pirates or anything. I mean, picture this, you're in Cuba, sipping your little cafe con leche and suddenly you get this brilliant idea you turn to your family and you say oye you know what sounds like a great vacation sailing across the atlantic ocean in a floating piece of plywood i mean isn't that the ultimate and your family doesn't say are you out of your mind Ta loco, chico. No, 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 no. they say sure pass me the old tire and let's get going so there we are a bunch of rusty nails some old tractor tires and an assortment of mis mis mismatched planks setting sail on a makeshift Titanic. Leonardo DiCaprio. Who? Who? We were the original cast of La Vida en Alta Mar. You know, life on the high seas. And then the journey begins. The roaring waves, the scourging sun, the close encounters, the sharks with the sharks that might have mistaken us for snacks. Oh, and did I mention that we had no GPS? I'm pretty sure Columbus had a more reliable navigation system, don't you think? But we weren't deterred. Mm, no, sorry. No, no, no. We were on a mission to reach the land of freedom, or at least the land of air conditioning. So we paddled and we paddled and we paddled and we paddled. And when we finally saw the coast of Florida in the distance we didn't say oh great land <laughs> no 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 we thought oh wow we made it to the 51st state of Cuba and as we stepped ashore we didn't say we're here we said we when you go we're here and we've got a lot of explaining to do but you know what? We have, we may have arrived on a floating dumpster, but we made it and we made something of ourselves. We found jobs, started businesses, and became proud American citizens. So if you're ever in doubt about your ability to tackle life's challenges, just remember the Cuban spirit. We take on the ocean with a raft and we emerge as survivors adventurers, and sometimes, well, comedians. That's all, folks. Did you like this video? Please like and subscribe. And share it, share it.